Hallelujah. So how's the actual knee feeling? Ah, uh, it doesn't hurt at all. When I lifted it, it like hurt like quite a bit, but now it doesn't hurt at all. Come on, man. Come on. Get out of my ball. I tell you what, we don't need better programs. We need the presence and the power of God to transform our city. A generation that is literally burning with a passion for the loss. We need a generation of people that would be as radical missionaries in our nation and also the nations of the world. To God, I just want to pour my life out to you. I just want to move to Africa. I just, I just, I just want to be a martyr. I just want to pour it out to you, God. I just want to give you everything. I really believe that he's given us the nation of Australia. There's so many things that can pull us this way and that to a place of complacency and a place of apathy. But I tell you what, I believe that there is a generation that is right here in this building that is going to redefine what be a, a Christian is going to be like in a first world country. There's people that are pioneering things in the spirit. And this is what it looks like. This is what it sounds like to be a generation of people that are completely free of agendas into the realm where we're completely free to live as sons and daughters of the Most High God. I can feel that there's a holy birthing that is happening in this moment, and it's not going to stop. It's not just for tonight, but it will continue. Thank you, Father, that there is fire that people are going to begin to carry even to their different churches all over the city, and we claim that this is something that is not happening in a single location, but it is happening in the body of Christ. It is happening in the COC. It is happening in AOG. It is happening in the Baptist churches and the Anglican churches and the Catholic churches as the body of Christ once again begins to reunite for you Lord God we're not trying to convert everybody to become Pentecostals we're coming to become your perfect bride oh God we want to see your spirit break out in this nation oh God and it's about people that will literally say, I will give it all. I will give everything. There is nothing, nothing that I will hold back. I want all of you, God. I want everything that you have for me, whether it be to get up on a platform and speak to a million people or will it be to just go and take a, to get on a plane down to South America and speak to one little old lady right before she dies on her deathbed because God loves her that much. The body of Christ begins to come in proportion with the head and we begin to walk as Christ did and we're actually begun to become the revelation of Christ in this world. Christ in me, the hope of glory. When people begin to look in my eyes, they, I pray that they don't see me anymore, but they see a Savior, a radical God that loves them immensely, outrageously. And when they see that, all of the things that have held them back in the past, in the you world, in the material, and all the bondages and they see something that they said ah, I see something in you that I cannot live without I've said yes to God I will continue to say yes to God I say yes, yes, you have yes, 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 yes until there is no, no in me if that's you, you will see. I want you to think it, about it I want you to weigh it up don't just make an emotional decision say this you is the moment Everything changes. And when I fall, when I come or go, you see it all. You hum the stars and you move the sea. And still you know me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, thank you, Father.
those of you that haven't been prayed for, we'll just take a few steps, a couple of steps forward.